Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, RaptX here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and today we are back in Blender. Um, I'm going to continue with the, uh, the making of various different objects. Um, I think for this one we're going to go ahead and do a wood floor. Um, actually, well, no, we've got a brick, we've got a brick wall here. Um, let's go ahead and get into there, and I'm going to, ooh, hang on, that's not what I wanted. Oh, yes it is, never mind. Okay, good, good, there we are. So we've got a brick wall segment there. This is a, a two meter uh, section there. Um, so I guess we'd be looking about uh, a little bit taller than six feet in the US. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag this one up um, so that it is more or less on that Z zero plane. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead then and duplicate this one. I'm going to grab this and move it off to the side a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that one and move it over here to the center of the workspace. And we're going to go ahead and see about making ourselves a uh, doorway to go through here. So uh, let's see here. I suppose if that is a a uh, six foot, well, let's see here, two meters, so we'll probably look at actually, it's probably more like six foot six inches or so. Um, so, not uh, not too large, so we probably want to scale this up just slightly. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and snap to the front view here, and then I'm going to scale this just slightly. And let's see here, that's about two. So, if we go up, yeah, let's see, two tenths of a meter. Um, let's see here, 2.54, so we're looking at uh, 20 millimeters, and then that's going on, so 40 millimeters, so we're looking about, uh, what's that, 5 inches? Hmm, pull my calculator here. this and move it, oop, come on, move this up, there we go, and then four tenths, 100, yeah, so you'd have 40, oh no, 40 centimeters, there we go, that's why, okay, so 40 divided by 2.54, about 15 inches, So this brings it up to the size where it's uh, going to be large enough for that to fit in and we'll actually have a decent sized door so there. Go ahead and delete that one. Drag that one over, there we go, so that we're not messing with that one. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and rename this one and we're going to call this brick wall door. There we go. And let's go ahead and start wrecking. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get into here. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding a plane here. Uh, we probably only want this to be about one meter or so. Um, let's see here, that's going to be about 39 inches. That'll work. Um, and then we probably only want this one to be... Um, that's good. That's good, good. Let's go ahead and grab that and move it out front here so that we can see it. And then we're going to scale on the Y here to bring it back so that it's just a little bit thicker than the than the wall there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and extrude this up. And we're going to do this uh, 2.1. There we go, good. I'm going to grab this up and move it just so that it's flush. There we go. We'll 
or just slightly below flush there. Okay, so that's actually, that's a very good one right there. We'll go ahead and grab that down and move it so that it's about even with those. Perfect. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll move it just slightly. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to grab this, rotate around, and we're going to grab this and move it on the X axis. No, Y axis, sorry. By just hitting Y on our keyboard and popping that into position there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to separate this out with P. And that'll separate that out into a separate uh, piece of work. I'm going to move it up just slightly. Oops. Z. Oops. There we go. Okay, and essentially what I'm trying to do here is just make sure that it tops this brick so it's going to cut that nicely. There we go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the bisect tool. Um, so we're going to add, add a modifier and we're going to do a boolean. Okay, and we're going to intersect, no, we're going to do difference and we're going to pick this object. There we go. And what if I'm doing render display modifier in viewport? Okay, so that should do that. We're going to go ahead and we'll apply this, and then perfect. So we've just made a wall there. Or do a doorway. Very nice. Okay. Now we can go ahead and get into here. And we're going to go ahead and just do an inset face here. Oops. Uh, we will need to select that. There we go. Inset face. And we're going to go ahead and select these three. Oops. Okay. Didn't save our measurements. Okay, so we're going to set this and we'll do point 0.1. There we go. That's, I think, a good one, so we'll do the same here. Okay, and that's a uh, 0 0.05 is the amount that I've done there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and erase this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Delete those. Scale these to active element. There we go. Scale Z to zero. And that'll bring those down level. And we'll set this back to individual origins there. Okay, good. Now Go ahead and do these, and we're going to erase those edges. And then we're just going to go ahead and select these and start making faces there. By selecting each of the edges and then hitting the F key to make a face. Okay, very good. 
Now we're going to go ahead and deselect all of these. Oops. So we're going to go ahead and get back into edit mode and hit control 3 so that we're selecting faces. There we go. And snap to the front here. Zoom in slightly. There we go. Grab these, move them up vertically so that they match nicely there. Perfect. Okay, so there's our door frame. go ahead and get back out into object mode. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to go ahead and we'll see about making a door here. I'm going to go ahead and do this one and that one and go control J to join those. Good. go ahead and we'll make another uh, another plane here, we'll make this a door, we're going to rotate this on the x-axis 90 degrees so that it lines up and then we're going to, yes, we're going to align the world, good, go ahead and get into here. Now, I'm going to jump to the front here, we're going to scale this down by 0 0.05, whoops, Should be able to go, no, not quite. Alright. We'll just grab this and move it over slightly then and scale it down. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to grab this and move it upwards. There we go, so that we've got a good. Uh, a good position there. Okay, now now that we've got a, a proper door shape there, I'm just going to scale this one on the X axis till it's down to a thinner board. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead then and extrude this one. So that you've got a door post essentially, or not a post exactly, but a, uh, a door board. There we go. Let's scale this one on the X slightly just so we've got a little bit wider boards there. There we go, good. And then we go ahead and we're going to move this one over And we're going to use that modifier again. We're going to do a constant offset. And I'm going to do this one on. There we go. Actually, we probably want this to uh, 0 0.005. No, nope, even that's a little bit. There we go just enough so that there's a little gap in between there. You probably won't notice it really. Okay, and then we're going to do this to a count. Uh, let's do this for probably six. Yes, six will be it exactly. Okay, good, and then we'll go ahead and grab this and move it. Oops. And 
just uh, kind of juggling these back and forth to fit nicely. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this one and move it forward so that it's into the door frame there. Very good. Okay. And then I'm also going to go ahead and we'll get a couple of a uh, couple of crossbars to go onto there. Yep, this will be like a, a heavy oaken door there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll apply that. Whoops. There we go. And we'll apply that so that we've actually got a good. Now go ahead and we'll add a plane. Rotate this one on the x axis 90 degrees. And I'm going to make sure that it's about uh, 0 0.92. Yeah, let's go 0 0.9. There we go. I'm going to drag that one forward so that we can see it in front of this. It's still a little bit too wide, so we're going to scale this one on the X again. Snap to the front view. until you move it around to the other side. Okay. Let's just do that then. We'll work from the back side. Um, okay, so a scale on the Z here so that we've got a crossbar there. Good. And then we're going to go ahead and extrude this out so that we've got like a steel plate And then we'll go ahead and grab this and move it up. And we're going to add another modifier here an array. Whoops. No, we don't want that one. Okay, so we're going to separate that by selection and now we'll add a modifier we're going to do this one on the Z and we're going to do this a constant offset um, and we're going to do this about uh, let's do one meter Hang on, where'd it go? Why is it out there? Oh, that's why. Okay, so we want this to be zero. I'm going to do this to one. There we go. Okay. So that just brings it down to center. Okay, we're going to drag this down slightly. I'm going to increase count. Fixed count of three. There we go, perfect. Right, so that's got three of those. And we're also going to go ahead and add a modifier. And we're going to set this one on the Z. Do this one. Actually, no, we won't do that. Let's just go ahead and we'll get rid of this one. There we go, and we'll fit that one to the door there. Go ahead and 
move this around there we go perfect alright now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this then and move this on the Y axis Oops. there we go and I'm going to go ahead and swap back to studio lighting there there we go good and I'm going to grab these this again until they are flush with the door there. Perfect, so that we've got bars on either side of that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and get out of there. Okay, so we're going to do one more thing here then. I'm going to go ahead and we'll add it one more part. This will be another one. We're going to make this a circle. And we're going to only give it about eight sides. Uh, actually, six sides will probably work. There we go. Uh, we're going to give it a radius of about uh, 0.1 because we really don't need it. Actually, that even that's too big. And that's uh, that's maybe a tad small. That's a decent size. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to cap this one. Here we go. We're going to rotate it on the X. There we go. All right. Go ahead and get into edit mode here, and we're going to extrude this out on the Z. That'll be the local Z, of course. And then we're going to scale that one. that a rounded appearance. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab this one and we're going to move it so that it more or less anchors each one and then we're going to go ahead and create an array I'm going to do this to the negative one and then we're also going to do a constant offset of uh, negative 0.25 no that's too much so we're going to go 0.0125 no 0. Oh, negative 0.125 there we go and we're going to increase the count here so we've got each of those experimenting here so that we can get a decent number here good all right and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make an array a secondary array here so we're going to add an array there we go and instead of doing this one on the we're still going to keep this to be a relative offset we do this on a constant offset as well we're going to do this to zero and set this one to negative one Actually, no, I'm going to set this to 1, positive, there we go. And we're also going to set this one to uh, 0.6, no, 0.7, that's even a little bit, there we go. And I'm going to do constant of 2. Okay, so that's just a tiny bit high. 
So let's go 0 0.68. Zero point six eight five. There we go. Okay. So that gets us those. We're going to go ahead now and we'll grab this and move it backwards on the Y. Let's go ahead and Those are just above the surface there. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll shift D. Move this on the X, no, on the Y axis, sorry. There we go. And then we're going to scale it on the negative 1. And that'll be on the Y axis, there we go. Good. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab these with the G key and move them on the Y axis until they're in their position there. Perfect. Okay. Now the last thing is we're going to go ahead and select all of these. So we want circle and circle one and this object and this object and that object and we're going to go control J to join all of those into one and then we're going to go ahead and we'll rename this one and we'll call this one um, <laughs> iron bound wood door. There we go. And so now we've got, we'll swap this around so that we're back in an active daylight there. Hello. Why that not work? No, oh, it did. Oh, that's why we didn't apply the modifier. Okay, we're going to back way up then. Okay, we're going to go ahead and apply this one. And apply that one. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and select this one. And we'll apply that one. So you've got to remember, always apply your modifiers. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and apply that one as well and make sure good we don't have any modifiers on any of these good okay so now we'll go through and select each of those there we go control J and we'll rename this Ironbound wood door. Oh, hello! <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, that's come to a good stopping point right there. Uh, we've got uh, a nice wooden door there. It's got all of our bars in place. And uh, we've got little bolts there going through it. So that is going to be it for today. Oh, hello! <laughs> Alright, everyone, take care. I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta.